Special guest, D. Gray. It's all you. Intro, let's hear it. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Nailed it. Beautiful. What episode are we on, Jeff? We are on seven. (laughs) I'll never remember. (laughs) Episode seven, (laughs) Lost in Thought. Let's mad take it up. Woo! Oh dear! We'll get to the, the guy, the the you know the guy redheaded the stepchild in the taking room time. here in a second. But we got <laughs> it's we got take it time. <laughs> it's taking it's, time. It's taking time. You know, we may not get political here, but we like to live it up every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Better not be living it up anywhere near me. <laughs> All right. Not on my soil. <laughs> so which one are we God doing again? I fought and died for this country. Uh, he said someone special. <laughs> someone special. At the Where bottom. Yeah, Tyler. He's someone special. Where is it? It's at the bottom. At the it's bottom? the second to last one. Right right above nursery, right? No, not the HBO Max ad. Stop seeing it. Stop Wait, seeing this Let's fill this out. <laughs> well, thank you for oh, not thanks. showing so that special. Should we print it? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Quick question. What's an Actually, adverb? save it as a PDF. And, oh. Hey, wait. Who's it by? It's by Jenny Smith. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, that Jenny. is the most Jenny generic the name I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. How can you read that? Goodness. <laughs> Tyler, did you see it's, an optometrist? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, this was Brian, like, this was a couple me months for the back. First few episodes. If, I could, if I went to the optometrist, I wouldn't be able to see them. So, no, I don't need to see an optometrist. <laughs> I need glasses. <laughs> oh, Tyler, dang. what's a noun? It's a person, place, or thing. Yeah, but what's a noun? <laughs> that's, that's, that's three nouns. <laughs> A person oh. plays, and we just want one. Yeah, good, sir. for real. Uh, <laughs> it's one of them. Let's do Chuck E. Cheese. No, that's, that's, a proper, proper, that's a proper, proper, proper noun. noun. Excuse me. We'll do a park. <laughs> giant, <laughs> giant animatronic rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's see. Name. Chuck E. Chuck Cheese. E. Cheese. <laughs> or is it just Chucky? Chuck E. I think it's actually Charles E. Cheese. Chester. <laughs> there we go. Nate Adjective. Hmm. Let's go with lusterous. <laughs> lusterous. Uh. Verb ending in ed. Brian, how do you get this every week? What? <laughs> it's always the ed one. What is this? Ending <laughs> <laughs> uh, in ed. <laughs> you just keep saying. I was thinking of maybe like <laughs> Slade. S L A Y D. I tell you what, every time I see that, I always think jumped or run. <laughs> it's, it's always run. run. Randed. It's just like run. run. I ran it across the Tyler street. Agitated. I have run purple. <laughs> I, was, I thought about saying purple too. Just That's what Brian says <laughs> that's every what single I say time. Every time. Purple is the perfect adjective. A noun. Computer. Chuck E. Cheek. <laughs> Nay, adjective. Violet. Ooh, <laughs> switching it up. Brian, exclamation. Yoit. <laughs> I was going to say Yahtzee. If I... <laughs> Tyler, verb ending in oh, ED. No. <laughs> uh, this is a tough one. Join me. <laughs> Q Jeopardy music. Verbs like, um, I'll like take a noun for 500. Words, like, <laughs> run. <laughs> action words. Okay. <laughs> that ended it. in ED. So it's past tense action words. Rolled. <laughs> yep, that works. Never gonna give you. <laughs> this a is a perfect roll? opportunity. Please. Chuck. Jeez. <laughs> Man, a name and a place. Jeez. Oh my goodness. It's the perfect proper Jeez. noun. Wow. Adjective, what do I got? Nate. An adjective? Yeah. Um, what's another what's another purple? <laughs> Purple, uh-huh. v- v- hairy. 
Hey, someone actually stole my hat. My, oh, it's a I'm not stealing time. Brian's anymore. Verb ending in ing, Brian. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. A piece of furniture. What? Piece you, of furniture, you Tyler. Piece? <laughs> you, you piece. We'll do sofa. Sofa. Television program. I only know like three of these. And Chuck E. Cheese Cheers. also have a <laughs> t- t- television program as well. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm, what's a good one? Happy Days? They <laughs> uh, are. <yeah>. No. <laughs> that wasn't a television program. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that wasn't dear. a television program. I know that's your favorite Netflix original, Jeff. <laughs> but come on. Shark now. Tank. <laughs> Did you say sh- Sark Tank? Shark. He said no, Shark, no, I shark said, Tank. I tank. said Shark. Stop it. I said Shark. <laughs> there we go. Now, Rocket Nick. ship. Rocket ship. We're Ooh, going on our trip. trip. <laughs> our favorite, favorite rocket ship. ship. Let's, through let's the go mad. Little Einstein. <laughs> go mad. Time, time, Lord. You get to read to this it. since oh. you're the guest. He, he can't see it. Why he can't he, read? He, can't, he also can't read. I can't read. Someone <laughs> special. I recently fell in and out of love with a park. His name <laughs> is Chuck E. Cheese. I have a lustrous <laughs> feeling about him. When we met, we just slayed. But then he said, I was the most purple person he knew and that he would like me to be his computer. <laughs> it was a violent decision to make, but in the end, I said, you yeah. <laughs> After that, I left him and rolled all the way to Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> I feel a little hairy about what I did, but I'd rather be sleeping on the sofa and watching Shark Tank. Hey, that's who weird. needs a rocket ship anyway? <laughs> it's a rocket I don't know why anyway. I laughed at this one more than any other one. <laughs> but by golly, that tickled my fancy. It's, His see, it's name funny. is Chuck E. He's, Cheese. Yeah, so it's like they left Chuck E. Cheese. But I left him and went back to <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> so they went right back to him. It wasn't meant to be that they broke up, I Love guess. Love is just a perpetual loop. Oh, it is. Of constant sorrow and suffering. Oh, man. That's that was good. A good. That was one. a good one. Share on Facebook. <laughs> Don't post it on our Facebook. Please do oh, it. No. <laughs> That's it's your Facebook. Someone special, no, no, no. man. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Cool. Let's post it on Google. Oh, uh, not the 404. 404 error. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Anyway. Mission accomplished. We that went nice. well. All right. So Just it's already like, pretty obvious this is a very special occasion. We got uh, our homie. Hello. The red hair wonder. His hair is like a fl- flowing lion's mane in the wind. Yes, it is. The sexy, the attractive, the beautiful, the extremely fair. And also fair, you know, double double meaning. There. Right, fair, both fair. words of both meanings. A double of entendre, right there. The double entendre. It is Tyler Gray. Everyone, clap it up for him right woo. now. Woo, woo, woo. So, Tyler, what brings you here today? A car, but also you asked me to be on the show. That is true. And I figured, well, heck, <laughs> I ain't got nothing going on today. So. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Please, Thank you. Jeff. I'm, I'm so happy you're so happy that I'm here. No, we are extreme. We're related. I mean, you can just see all we're the expressions of We're happy. Related. We're not related. Is I said related. Just said? <laughs> we are all related. <laughs> we're related. We're one big happy family. My yeah. brother in Christ, we are all related. <laughs> we're all related. Technically but, true. Were you supposed to start that timer, Jeff? <laughs> he never oh starts the timer. This is his one job. This is why he's the odd. <laughs> The audio t- yeah, the, the, te- the other te- button te- says te- start. Te- there you go. The this technical so audio engineer. Oh, hey, how many minutes handles- do we have to add to it? Uh, we have to add eight minutes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So fifty-two. At least last yeah. week. Anyways, last time it was ten. This is all. No, this uh, is that was the week before. Oh, I got okay. it last week. No, now we didn't record up, last. Me and Brian week. are talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Continue. My bad. I'm just the host trying to transition stay, and introduce our special guest. Stay out of our conversation. <laughs> stay out of our conversation. <laughs> My bad. What kind of cheese is it? Uh, it would appear to be. It's jalapeno. Jalapeno no, cheese. I don't want any. Hey, Brian, you want some cheese? <laughs> no, I don't Brian, want some cheese. Brian, you specifically asked for the cheese earlier. Why uh, are you taking it? You said the opposite of that. You said, and I quote, if you don't give me cheese, I'm going to beat you up in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. And I said, all right, man, just take some. <laughs> just take <laughs> But anyways, all the way 
He's now a veteran, folks. So, yeah. veteran, your respects. He's a veteran. <laughs> He's a veteran. Veteran. So Gosh, all the way you. from from uh. Oh, oh, no, no. No. <laughs> True. From the good old state of Washington. Yucky. Yeah. That place is DC. No. The state of Washington, DC. The state of Washington, DC. The What's state of beef? District of Columbia. <laughs> no, I don't want any beef. I want to be a good friend. I already had my oh. fair share of beef before coming here. So. I want to be good friend. How's the cheese, Brian? <laughs> it's pretty good. Is it? it was like moist when I pulled it out the package. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. Is it all It's like in the business? in between state. Yeah, it is. Of you know, like solid and liquid. It's just kind of kind of weird. The last podcast water go. Gosh uh, dang it! I don't know. I need some. Have you tried the podcast sports drink? The podcast sports drink. It's called podcast sports sports cast. Cast. Wait, <laughs> sports <laughs> cast. Wait a minute. Sports ca- filled with a lot of electrolytes keeps you <laughs> hydrated. All right, anyways, Tyler. <laughs> Next up. <I'm>, <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. He's been our, our number for one your supporter service. for the longest time. Thank you for, for your service. And go ahead and tell us your life story. It all started when I was born. We got 35 seconds. 35 okay. seconds. Um, We're on a timer. Well, you see, <laughs> it seems like you have about 25 seconds yeah, left. Jeff, Jeff, you're cutting cut into my time. Yep. Now that we're <laughs> at the end of my sentence, you have more like 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, you got five seconds, go. Uh, so I was born and now I'm here. <laughs> All right, sweet. That was pretty Great good. Story. Took a little long. But, but anyway, was... so my bad. I'm actually kind of curious about this. How did, did, So when we first started, did you just see us through social media? How did you find us? You know, I know we're all connected. We're all good friends, lifelong. Right. It yada, was yada yada yada, but like, what was your, you know, kind of like, how did you come to see us? Basically, long it was story short. it was the Facebook post. It was a Facebook. I had post? seen the Facebook post, and I was like, "Holy ghost! I know all th- all four of these guys, <laughs> even though the fourth, <laughs> who, yeah, who is the fourth? Yeah, honestly, who is that guy? <laughs> oh yeah, he's doing laundry or we something. We have a fourth, but <laughs> I seen it, and I was much. like, these are all swell guys. I've known these guys for many many moons. I figure, hey. I might as well support it. So I shared the post. And the rest is history. And then we started playing pirate game together. <laughs> we were there on the seven seas. Smack right. dab in the ocean. But We're a modeling yeah. crew. Uh, and then we all just started playing games, so that was pretty fun. You got games on that? So yeah, you we got games uh, on your phone? We've known Tyler for a very long time. Uh, we basically grew up together. Yep. yep. And you know, time, you know, being the time being the e- evil and wonderful thing that it is, we kind of grew apart there for a while. Not really like grew apart, but you know, I hated life these took guys. A se- s- separate he hated ways. You know, we were despicable. But we all then went we to college. Grew, uh, Brian moved to Florida for some odd reason. Hey, it was pretty cool though. <laughs> you know, um, you joined the military, and you know, it's just that this part of growing Ironically, up. Ironically. I'm glad that this... I think me and Nate talked more when I moved to Florida than when I before I had moved to Florida. That's true. <laughs> I think you moved to Florida. Well, then I was like, Brian, you have a gaming console, right? And yeah. Brian's like, duh, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, we should be friends because we know we kind of are friends. <laughs> true. And, and he's like, dude, you're right. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm right. Well, I didn't know you had a PlayStation. I thought no, you had I, an Xbox. I, I did. Well, I didn't yeah. bring my, con- like for my first two semesters, or I guess it was first four semester, first two years, I didn't have my PlayStation with me. So that probably, you know, it, so it's hard to play games when you don't have the, the gaming console Makes with sense. you. Makes but, sense. Yep. Right. But and yeah, then so, we all built PC. But anyways, I'm yeah, glad yeah, that this yeah. brought us back together. Oh, and yeah. Hopefully we can build something. And I hope Tyler comes back. I'm sure, I mean, I got nothing better to do. He, he's going to be uh, with us. He's, you know, he's more more of a part of the the crew than Eric is. So you know, he's my, a veteran. My ten day contract. And, and, ten day contract. Ten day contract. And we'll see if we'll we'll, we'll extend that after this. Tyler's uh, been on podcast. every stream we'll that see he what hasn't. Kind of numbers either, you put up. So he's been on every stream that he hasn't either slept through or <laughs> also fallen slept. asleep on. Do you slept know what's during, funny? Slept so during, we were playing. We, I don't think I told you the story. So we were playing Quest, right? Right. This was our That's first true, yeah. play test or, of Quest. <laughs> And roommate John, God bless his soul. Yeah, we were 
It passes bedtime. It passed my bedtime, to be honest. It was like 10 o'clock. It was, it true. It was, so it was, it was like 10. I was I'm, telling this elaborate I was just story. Vibing. I was playing Fall Guys while we were playing. No just, shot. You were playing Fall Guys while we were playing I, I played Fall Guys the entire Are first you run me? through. Oh my goodness. I was playing with Ashton and he was still awake. And I'm like, shut up, Ashton. I got quests to play. But <laughs> nice. I got. So I also got to play. I got to finish for, this, getting these dubs. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, Quest is like a, a, a pretty simple tabletop RPG. I, I, I don't know. I like the creativity uh, that it allows for each PlayStation. Anyways, we were playing that. We were just, you know, troubleshooting, essentially, just playtesting, seeing how it flowed and just seeing if we enjoyed the game or not. And of course, roommate John, I'm telling this elaborate backstory, like, it was like the end. Important. It was at the very end. We had just completed like the we prologue. We completed our like yeah, it was the prologue. We completed the prologue. <laughs> we had just finished like the mission we were on, the battle we were in. And I was talking and he about that. He hadn't spoke in like <laughs> the wizard, five minutes. The sp- and he hadn't, yeah, we were just going through this whole elaborate story. And all of a sudden I'm like, Brian, have you heard from John? And he's like, No. And I'm like, John, are you there? And I hear nothing. He's still on the call. Doesn't respond. I'm like, hey, John. I'm like, is there something going on? Something wrong? So I text him. And I, I'm still going through the story. I'm like, I can't stop now. <laughs> like, I'm invested and I'm yeah, the one so who's telling fin- the story. We right. finished. Uh, so we finished <laughs> so, our. So we finished and I'm like. We did our character progressions and everything. And then I'm like, John 100% fell asleep. Turns out <laughs> he fell asleep. Yeah. So that's he the second fa- time. He had fallen asleep in the call while we were all playing quiet. <laughs> so somebody can now join you. <laughs> Except John didn't have. <laughs> John didn't have a good excuse Ooh, like you did. Tyler, you know, you hadn't slept for like you know, <laughs> the entire time. John yeah. is just being a big baby. I never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you, we ask you how little you or like, we're like, oh, yeah, you, you said you didn't get much sleep. And we're like, yeah, oh, you know, a few hours of sleep or whatever, a light sleeping day. And you're like, yeah, I slept for like 30 minutes. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was rough. That was a rough day. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't know, man. Sometimes I just can't fall asleep. Uh, like last night, I couldn't fall asleep. Yeah, I was up play- until five o'clock in the morning, and my mother was watching me play Two K Twenty Two My Career, and she was cheering like she was at the game. <laughs> She's like, "Yeah, buddy, he hit another three. Let's go!" <laughs> he hit another three. So, uh, <laughs> Jeff, you're just gonna sit there and hold that yeah, the entire time. It is so time. hot in here. I mean, oh my somebody, goodness! Somebody's, somebody's got to do it. I mean, this feels wonderful, Jeff. Thank you. Oh, and the draft actually feels pretty nice. I didn't even yeah, know how hot I was you, until give you. Give me one second. There might be some hammering noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Not again. We're here oh, at Lost in Thought. Carlson, we're under construction. <laughs> we're under construction at the current, mo- <laughs> current oh, juncture. Oh, at this God. current juncture, I can't English. Stop so, hammering stuff into my walls. Jeff. Good, dude, Jeff, you are burnt to an absolute crisp. I just looked at your neck and it is I like, goodness gracious. Make sure your neck is in the camera angle so yeah, we can show real. how burnt you are. We got multiple angles on this. Band oh, case is intense. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Jeff, after you're done ham- hammering that in, you want to tell us about band camp? How's your experience been? Oh, oh baby. <laughs> I but, tell you what, that was a talent show. That's nice. <laughs> talent show? Wait, you had a talent show? Oh, did we? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it resembled Bloomington. Okay. The talent show <laughs> resembled <laughs> Bloomington? Bloomington. I can only imagine. <laughs> it's a good song. Anyways, so yeah, we're <laughs> we're happy to have Tyler here. Jeff happy is be. being. Jeff, you're not gonna try and nail that in there, nuisance. are you? Jeff, that's and gonna break the window. That thing is held together by nothing. That build, that window was made in 1920. 1920. How old is this house, Brian? 1922. <laughs> Beautiful. That, that seems sketchy, but I guess it worked. It that's works. nice. If it's I chips. got the breeze right on my back. Too. All right. Anyways, Tyler. Now Jeff. Tyler's here. Woo! Woo! Go Tyler. Now we'll, we'll get uh Jeff's band camp story. And talent show story, and then uh, coming up, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Bill Russell All right, and his be- passing. Uh, Overwatch Two, we'll be discussing our final thoughts on the beta, and then also, what else did I write? Dear oh, music, yeah, dear update. music update. Exciting. So, have we learned how to timestamp right. this stuff yet? I mean, um, other than just putting the time, like the I just numbers, haven't had time to do it every time. I was just wondering, do we like? Are we able to separate it yet? I think I know how. I just haven't had time to do it. That'd be cool. Because I'm up. I'm still at the point where I have to upload the morning app. Oh, yeah. 
It's unfortunate. You, you edit all this or... in like a day or two? Yeah. Dude. You're it's overworked, man. D- d- you're telling me. <laughs> he, compl- he complains a lot. I mean, I would too. I did it last because, time. It so wasn't for, that hard. So for every... <laughs> I did half of it. And you <laughs> Jeff did half of it, and I did the other half on a phone call with Jeff while I sat there and waited oh my for goodness, him Brian. to walk um, me through. Like, whenever, so everybody sees the finished product, but they don't understand that I have to render each, like, so each different video you see right now, oh, in, yeah, terms we got of, a new camera. in terms of Brian or Nate, Tyler or me. Those each have to go through two different renders, one yeah. for the color, one for, for a the... proxy. Yep. And then I have to put them together. That's another render. Each render takes 40 to 50 minutes. And then I and have then to the... put it all yeah. together. I have to put all the audio together. I have to render the intro and the outro in or make it from scratch. Yeah. And then render the entire thing together. And the entire thing together takes forever. So yeah, it's mainly a you know rendering is a pain. Yeah, if we had a, it's just a waiting it's, game. The biggest thing also that Brian ran into is knowing the settings. Yeah, because I didn't know them, and so I'm able to mostly fly through it now because I know all the shortcuts, the keys too. Mm-hmm. That that helps a ton. Just like having to go in and click everything versus just like Control K, Control you know whatever, that goes really quick. But yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, I've been so. That's like a huge part of it, and that also comes to like animating. So That's I've been true. doing a lot of the uh, the animations that we're probably going to be incorporating in the deer. I've been working on some of that using Blender, which is a free open source software, which is phenomenal. Nice, right? It's so cool. Tyler's seen some of it. Yep. Brian's seen some of it. What the heck? And I, it's I, I in think the I tried, Discord. I, it's in the Discord with like. You the, think I checked the Discord? Oh well, no, goodness, it was Brian. like it was during the last week. You were man. off the map it's all true. last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not false, <laughs> but like. Half of the battle <laughs> is not even like the animating; yeah. it's knowing like the hotkeys and yeah. where to find everything. Right. Yep. And I'm assuming that's probably very similar it with is editing. Very. And so, like the first like four or five hours is me just learning yeah. the hot. See, that's how it was with Photoshop. It's the same way. Yeah. Because I do a lot of the Photoshop stuff. And see, that's that's what's been nice about us doing this is because I didn't have to learn it; I already did know it. So. That helps. We've, so we've never had a problem, even whenever we've only filmed two days before, or yeah. whatever. We give you I, a whole extra day usually now. Yeah, I know. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I would like six days. We did uh, a one day turnaround once. Yeah, we missed oh, that the had upload. To be terrible. Yeah, we, that, we, that was absolutely that was, awful. Oh, it's we gotta mi- be rough. We missed the upload. <laughs> I, so <laughs> we uploaded so the next I've, day. I found out a few weeks ago how to. So whenever I have to go through and manually change which camera that you're that yeah. the viewer is seeing from, right. so, which I've done, so that. I watch the entire podcast through again before I upload it and choose which camera to right. put at. That's good. I mean, time. just watching phenomenal content. Twice right. like, okay. So I figured Jeff out very now, frequently does laugh this, at his own jokes while he episode, rewatches the podcast. All, all I do is laugh at the jokes I made because they're very funny. <laughs> um, but, I would agree. Yeah. But however. I found out recently, not that recently, but semi recently, that if you press L, it'll go like twice as fast and you can keep pressing L as many times as you want and it'll keep doubling the speed. So whenever I find out find places where I'm not talking, I just spam L and it'll just <laughs> <laughs> And so I good. I end up being able to edit An or exponential like exponential the cam- increase. I end up being able to sequence the cameras mm-hmm. in like under 15 minutes now. Wow. Instead of watching the full hour. Well, yeah. So I say about 45 minutes now. That's well, this, nice. This content is going to be so fire with me in it. I'm just saying. Absolutely. You're going to watch the whole thing over As just because you want to. <laughs> but that's not a big deal. It's not that You're hard. You're going to edit it twice just because Tyler's in there. He's like, it adds a camera, but now you get the joy of editing the new camera footage. That's true. There you it, go. May, it may be easier. Who knows? It'll be easier because I haven't kicked it this whole time. Uh, yeah, did, did that's last, true. The week that I edited, by the end of the video, the Nate's up, like left arm is off the screen yeah. because <laughs> Jeff kicked it twice. It, it has <laughs> to I, sit right here. Yeah, right, it has to, to for the camera. Yeah. Oh but my the GoPro goodness. can sit there. Yeah. 
that's amazing. Yeah. That's that's a great addition, dude. That's improvement. <laughs> yeah. That's good stuff. The that's old, ridiculous. The, yeah, with the old... And it just took somebody lighting it on fire so we could afford it. So. Yeah, for <laughs> real. <laughs> that's all you should pay, pal. So what about the uh, the iPhones have like the, the, the <laughs> 0.5 it size? <laughs> yeah. So if you <laughs> pay, so pay so to use the thing, that. though, if you use the 0.5, yeah. it goes to 30 frames. Oh, it's not 60 my. frames. Yeah. We so lose the quality. That, but the GoPro shoots at that 0.5. yeah. 60. That's... Yeah. You know what, Apple? I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going straight to the headquarters. <laughs> I'm writing a letter to, the, to Where's Congress. Steve? That's, Where's Steve? that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mr. Jobs. Mr. Jobs. You're about Can to be, I have one? <laughs> Mr. Jobs. <laughs> and if not, I'm taking you to Congress. <laughs> Mr. Jobs is about to be Mr. Unemployed when I'm done with him. <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, unemployed from this law. Unfortunately, he is unemployed. <laughs> I'm taking all the jobs. <laughs> anyway, I am so Bandcamp. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not telling my talent show story. I will tell a different talent show story. <laughs> the talent show story is it's, it's rough. It's it's R rated. <laughs> it was not, pretty bad. <laughs> not really, but I would say it's PG thirteen. But they are all above thirteen. So it's not PG-13 because we all had to watch that. Anyway, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, say no more. <laughs> say no more. Anyway. <laughs> but, um, no, one one guy, <laughs> um, yeah, I know. One guy challenged the band director to a gritty off. <laughs> which, Wait, aren't you the band director? <laughs> no, I'm the drum line. I would have loved uh, to see. Yeah, Ooh. which he, he no, asked, he asked me, Yeah, so he asked Jeff said, if he wanted I to said, help. No, him. I don't want to do the gritty off with you in the talent show. You know who you should ask though. <laughs> and I was like, and make sure to do it in the talent show. Don't ask him beforehand because then he'll say no. If you ask him in the talent show, he has to do it. He's on the spot, and he did. It was terrible. And then by majority vote, the band director was won. The gritty off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was funny. Another guy, his act was taking off all of his shorts. He had sweatpants on, came up, and then pulled down about 16 <laughs> pairs of shorts that he was wearing <laughs> underneath the sweatpants. Is that a talent? And by like the, <laughs> by like the 14th or 15th pair, the band director was freaking out because he... <laughs> Well, because in the first act, of is which, it like speed or is it just taking them off? No, is just, he trying to as quickly as he can, no, or just just, just, just well, taking them off? Really fast. Like, he had another person. Some, you know. He had another person doing it, right? Yeah. He was like pantsing him. Yeah, like. <laughs> 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 and, and anyway, the reason it was really scaring is because in the first act, of which I will not describe anything else, the two guys <laughs> that participated in it ripped <laughs> their pants off to show speedos on underneath. Why was I not invited? <laughs> so anyway, why didn't you record this? <laughs> it was getting a little hairy. Oh you. no! <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, I, I'm no. picking up what you're putting just down. Just <laughs> oh, it was not actually hairy. It was just getting scary. Bars. bars. Scary Terry. Whoa. It was scary. More bars. <laughs> Jeffrey, <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Jeffrey, you don't like it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, though, um, let's see. That I'm so happened. glad you say Jeff. We hungry. <laughs> Jeff. Jeffy mean, hungry. Another guy <laughs> tried to name every Weezer album the year and every single on it. And Weezer album? I don't. Yes. I'm not. He said Beverly Weezer was his. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's where I wanna and be. So anyway, so he tried, or he he also then said, and also people part of the Weezer community. Um, call the, <laughs> the Weezer community. Yeah. He was like, call the albums by their color name since they're all just named Weezer. He's like, so if I say Weezer Blue <laughs> album, I'm referring to the one that's blue. <laughs> and he, I'm not kidding. He went. So does anybody know when the first album was released? Like what year? I'm not. I, I couldn't tell you. Well, probably like 1994. Well, sure. Something. Let's say that he was like. He's like Weezer Blue Album 1994. Said the first song and then and then just goes, oh no. <laughs> See, the funny thing is nobody would have known if he was incorrect. He could have just played that off. And, and, he just, and he just goes, I can't remember them. <laughs> oh no. And, and we're like, no, no, try again, try again. You're fine. Like, take a look at your notes. Try again. And he like he gets out his phone, looks down at it, and goes, Weezer Blue Album 1994. 
<laughs> and he just stops. <laughs> and, and he just pauses. Everybody's completely silent. And he goes, I can't do this. <laughs> That's amazing. He was a clarinet player. That's all. Awesome. Do you think it was a prank or was he no, like he trying was serious. hard? Oh, He's completely serious. And he forgot? Was he just like nervous or something? Yeah. He wasn't the Weezerologist that we thought the, he was. The interesting thing though, he though made a pretty good joke the day before, or no, the same day, but earlier in the day. Um, so it was Rainbow Day that day. Um, a lot of people were wearing some flags. Um, <laughs> good for them. <laughs> anyway, though. Um, and one guy was wearing like a country's flag, which is a little weird because it's a rainbow day. So you think a rainbow, but it was like a country's flag that didn't have a rainbow. So I'm confused. A lot of people didn't participate. I don't know what was going on. I was, I didn't, I didn't understand it. But sure, whatever. Anyway, though, con- wait, what do you mean by like a, it looked a like it looked flag. like a, like a Western African country's flag. Oh, okay. And he so was wearing it around his like shoulders. A, an actual, oh, okay. Yeah. You said a country's flag. I'm and like, so the guy that. Like, are you referring to the rebel flag? I don't know. Country. So the person wearing the oh, flag. The country bumpkins around these parts <laughs> enjoy a certain type of flag. And so I, you know, was insinuate. No. Waylon Jennings. But the person um, in the middle is wearing He's an the flag. Addict. Don't mind him. No. The person wearing the flag is in the middle, right? What's his steam? <laughs> All right. It's hot in here. Person wearing the flag in the middle. Guy next to him is the Weezer guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guy on the other side is a sousaphone player. And the sousaphone player goes, hey, what's that flag? And the Weezer guy goes, it's the flag of Sugon. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the I've been there before. And the sousaphone guy goes, what's that? <laughs> oh, he got him. And he, and he just looks at him. And he's so gone these nuts. Because <laughs> that's how he talked. So gone these nuts, yeah. man. And and he was like, ah! <laughs> freaking got him. <laughs> yeah. And I was just standing behind them, you know, running the massive metronome that's super loud. And I was just like, this can't be real. <laughs> this, like, this is this is fake. <laughs> this isn't real. When I was. In I'm the army, set up. I had told somebody I was getting deployed to the Sagandis Desert, <laughs> and they're like, "I've never heard of that before." And I got them. <laughs> Did you? So whenever you said that, and they're like, "I've never heard of that before," you just go, "Gotcha." gotcha. <laughs> no, I said, "I said this." <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> Then I ran away. <laughs> I was Did, Nar- didn't even Nar- Nar- Naruto Did- run the opposite direction. <laughs> I Should duck he- I ducked under the under the little table in the corner. <laughs> that's whenever <laughs> laughing to myself. Whenever they say that, that's where you're like, really? That's where Candace is from. <laughs> yeah, me and Candace go way back. And- <laughs> you know, Candace, Joe, <laughs> all of the boys. And Candace has Ligma, unfortunately. <laughs> Sugma now Ligma. hang on for a second. Got, I don't got, know where this country Sugundies is. <laughs> I don't know who Candace or Joe is, and what the heck is Ligma? <laughs> I'm about to end this man's whole career. Just have Sergeant Sugma. <laughs> Sergeant Sugma. <laughs> Incredible. Tell you all about it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Anyways, uh. um, let's go ahead and talk about Overwatch 2 as we calm down. Oh wait, we skipped <laughs> Bill Russell. I know we did, but you know he didn't want to. He didn't want to transition from Sugma. You're right. You're right. He didn't want to translate from Sugma. We would be tarnishing his legacy, which we, it is is fair. So I want to give him the respect that he's. Right. His podcast may tarnish his, <laughs> his legacy. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Wait, hold on. Or he was almost successful at everything he did. Maybe this is a good thing. Yeah, Very. everything he touched was pretty successful. That, that is very true. All right. <laughs> but <he's> Crazy, <laughs> Jeff. Overwatch 2. All right, Brian, pick this up. Oh, Overwatch 2. So. Gosh dang. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, guys. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny, Jeff. I'm done laughing. I'm not laughing. You're laughing. <laughs> You're laughing. We have. 26 minutes left. Stressing me out. I read to what we what about Overwatch 2? <laughs> Alright, so Overwatch 2. So beta was pretty good. 
this is our late review, just kind of our final thoughts of the beta. As you know, it it ended a couple weeks Tell ago. Me, your Overwatch just put his out yesterday. We're not only a day oh, behind. Oh, right, well, we're only two. So, which is actually a <laughs> few more days out. behind. Yeah, something like that. So, final thoughts. Playing the beta. It, it, the the cool thing about it, and we've discussed this before, it, it it feels like Overwatch. Although they've made these drastic changes, it's still the game that we grew to love. So I mean, of course they made the five called five. Overwatch. I mean Overwatch two. Two. Two, Jeff. Very specific. No, it's not. It's not the same. <laughs> it's definitely not a content update. It's a new game. So so here's the thing, and we're kind of beating on a dead horse, but I think it should be. <laughs> That's Jeff beating on his horse. <laughs> no. his dead horse. He doesn't do that anymore. Why is this horse so small? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> I know. So, anyways, Bill Ross. <laughs> so, it, the fact that they're extending the release of Overwatch Two and kind of stretch, yeah. stretching out the content. Especially for the PvP. I understand the PvE. And a matter of fact, I want the PvE to probably... I mean, I want them to take their time and on actually the PvE do content it correctly. and actually do it correctly because the premise behind it seems extremely cool, extremely fun. Diving... You know, it, after watching all the cinematics, I am completely intrigued in the backstory behind yes. Overwatch. I think it will... I think the PvE will be really good. It's so, just going to be a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Delving into that story seems extremely interesting and extremely entertaining. And I have a feeling that it's going to be good. You know, Blizzard, being the company that they are, and knowing their backstory and kind of their shady practices, and also the way they treat their... Each yeah, other like, and their and, employees. And their employees. But they make great stories, and they make great games. Yes. And um, just their monetization practices and things. And I think that's kind of bleeding into to Overwatch. As well, I think a lot of, the, and this is kind of my, a little bit of a conspiracy, but I have a feeling the reason why, even though I think it's a blunder on their part, the reason why they're extending this is to make more time and room for their monetization in terms of Probably. battle pass yeah. events. And I think they were generally trying to create hype, but they kind of killed their own hype by their... releasing everything at once during the beta yeah, and then not properly implementing the player base and not properly implementing the uh uh the 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 release in kind of a logical and coherent manner if that makes sense so for example they were waiting all the way until october yeah for a game that played like it was nearly finished is a bit Which ridiculous. I, I would understand if this is a building a new game from the ground up, but it's, but it's, it's a, just literally a patch. Yeah, it's an update. It's a, it's an update patch. And There's, it is a lot of, I mean, it's a new, is it a new, it's a new, a, what's it called? Um, IP? Yeah. It's not a new IP, but it's. No, it's, what are they? Engine. It's a new engine. It's a new. It? Yeah. 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 They, they've, uh, it's a graphic overall. I don't know if it's a new. Is, is it a new engine? I thought I know it was. It's a new sound design engine. I knew that. Right. I don't yeah. know if it, in terms of a graphical engine, they changed too much. I'm assuming it's similar, but they definitely polished it up. It looks good. Right. We'll say that much. And sound design is probably one of the best. The sound the design industry. was really good. I mean, the that weapons I've... the weapon sounds were probably my favorite part from the beta. I agree. And, Just and... the way the guns sound. I mean, Soldier's Gun sounds incredible. Widow's Sniper, it sounds like it's got some beef to it. Like, yeah. It sounds like you're cracking heads with that thing. McCree's Peacekeeper, Sojourn's Abilities. No! Cassidy. Oh, my bad. Cassidy's piece. Yeah, my bad. Uh, Gold your facts straight. Canceled. Oh, time to. All right, Jeff, just go ahead and <laughs> cut. Cut. <laughs> cut it. Cut, cut it. But yeah, it, I don't know. what. Okay, so someone from the outside that hasn't really played. I mean, you've played it a little bit, yeah. Tyler. Jeff, you you've kind the of first followed one, along the second kind one. of with it, just kind of right. secondhand with yeah. our experience. Just <laughs> with your guys' experience with gaming, what, what are you guys' thoughts? on the way they're kind of releasing this beta, kind of comparing it to how other games have released in the past and how over or how not Overwatch, but how Blizzard has has done things with their with their releases. You know, you can just draw any kind of comparisons or what you think or what you so agree or disagree with. That, uh, I think other companies could take note and not do what they're doing. 
because this is how you kill hype for a game. No, that yeah is is and by think... making a beta that could be released in updates, and not only that, but taking forever and not allowing everybody to be in the beta. So if I didn't get access and I wanted to play with you guys, I just didn't get access. I, and there I, was and there was no way for me to change that after it had already started. And, and and here's the thing, I think it's actually better for you and the way they release it that you didn't get access. Right. Other than now, you had if, to watch us play. Other right. than you had to watch us play it. I wanted to play. I just because, I know it would have made me very I, angry to I play it. I think that that builds the hype for you as as a consumer and also makes you want to purchase. I mean, we're going to purchase it regardless because we're right, already we're addicts. It. Right. So, you know, we they've already, already got us. Me and Hayes spent 40 bucks on a free game. So, <laughs> we spent <40 laughs> but but uh if they would have like done a beta just to do a server test, just stress test, and they could just put everyone in at once. Yep. I know, like... Uh, that's what COD betas are, right? That's what COD betas COD are. betas are all just yeah, server. Because uh, uh, yeah. they only come out Dauntless. like a month before. I tell you what. You guys uh, remember Dauntless? Dauntless needed to do a better stress test. <laughs> so, yeah. like, I, I think that's the best way to do it because if you see large numbers like that, and, it, like, as a consumer, if you see Dauntless multiple on drop people... Dauntless numbers. And yeah. they like killed, or they, they killed, killed their, their servers. servers. I mean, this yeah. was epic. Nice. Yeah, that was for launch, launching this, and they didn't have. I don't know if you guys have ever played like a, a Battlefield beta, but those are always excellent. Yeah, yeah I mean, usually it, it's good because it, it, it grabs people in. Yep. It, 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 it creates hype because you hear all the you know the servers are down. You hear so many people are playing it at once, right? And they typically do that about like a month or so yeah. before the game releases. And you don't have to wait that long. Yeah, um, you don't have to wait. And, it, what is, and then they cut you off, right? MW2 yep. comes out October, end of October. Yeah. Right. And they haven't even done, they haven't even announced the beta for it other than it's coming. That and game, usually it's free. And that right? game is going to blow yeah. every other game out of the water It's, it's a COD. It, it, it always it's does a COD game and, and it's an MW2. It's got the MW2. characters. It's yeah. going to have nostalgia Price, in it. Soap, I mean, ghost. That game's going to explode. And, 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 you know. I'll enjoy Overwatch for about a month see, until yeah. MW2 comes I'll probably out. play a couple of rounds of Overwatch. <laughs> but, like, and, you know, sometimes companies, larger companies, take that hype and then they exploit you, which you right. kind of see that in, in Activision's practices. You see that in a lot of major AAA game companies, yeah. Ubisoft. But it's effective. And I think they should follow that. And I think <laughs> Blizzard, I, I'll give them benefit of the doubt, which I shouldn't. But I think their monetization practices are going to be fine. I mean, it's going to be typical, run of the mill, kind of like we've, we've seen before. Right. And it's not going to be, you know, of course, after the Diablo Immortal what fiasco, a game. you know, had to spend $100,000 to <laughs> get a max character, you know. Wasn't it literally, it's literally 100000 <laughs> No, like, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, it's like, like that's the like, actual that's, number. And that's not even to get an, a full max character. That's like to get a few five-star gems or whatever it is. <laughs> So, I don't want. This. But it's just, I, I think. Do it. I, I mean, think Overwatch could have avoided this problem. Yeah, it's a definitely. thing. They could have avoided it, and I think they're doing the right thing in terms of, like how they've explained their monetization. So they're doing the right thing on one they're side modern, of it, but dropping the ball on the other. Where yeah, other their companies monetization usually, is at least explained, and it's. They're apparent, and which is they haven't it's been. It's a more modern format. Like, it's a more common format now in a lot of games. Yeah. But well, why? So for the people who want to play your game, right? And this is, this is where I have the biggest issue. For, and, and think of it logically. And, and let me know if I'm wrong in thinking this or if you have any You're counterpoints. Wrong. <laughs> Nate's but, wrong. <laughs> if I wasn't so eating people, cheese, I would people, have said that. <laughs> the, the people who get the beta, right? And the people who are going to spend the money are the fans who are going to more than likely play the game for the entire life cycle, right? And they're the people yeah. that are going to draw the hype. They're the people that are going to, you know, log on at midnight, whatever, release day, and either stream, play, create higher play. You know, they're going to be watching the videos. They're going to be doing, you know, so they're, they're going to be watching, they're going to be watching content, the streams right? while playing. Right. So why give them exclusivity? They got the streams up on one screen. For and beta on. and yep. wear them out and give them all the new content. Yeah. And, and save nothing for launch. And then save nothing for launch. And I mean, they save one hero, right? That's it? Yeah. And then save one nothing hero. for launch. So those people are burnt out. They are kind of, you know, losing the appeal for the game. And then not only that, the way that they introduce the content in the betas, a lot of the player base, I mean, your player base is split. It's not evenly, but it's split three ways with tank support, DPS. 
they gave one group of the player base absolutely nothing in the beta. Like, no no changes or anything. But they gave the other two we'll everything they wanted. Everything they wanted. Yeah, exactly. And there so, was just one new hero and the yeah, other one not, was... not only that, the tank and DPS both got new stuff. Supports are like, I'm sick of this game. This up, this beta sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah they didn't even play it. There's queue time <laughs> issues. You told me there was nothing new with Lucio. I said, okay. Jeff, you were going to play it no more than if there was another support. There, there was yeah, new stuff with Lucio. About it. There were a little bit of new that's, stuff with that's, That should be the marketing. But, but just, they should have released three heroes. One for each group because I like to play a little bit of tank and DPS. I could care less about support. I don't really care for it. Yeah, yeah. And and we got new tank, new DPS. And plus they didn't fix queue times, which is another issue that kills your game. I mean, Overwatch 2, it's funny how Overwatch 2 beta killed Overwatch 1. Because people yeah. just want to play Overwatch 2, but then they get burnt out on it, and then they have to go back to Overwatch 1 to get their fix. Yet so Overwatch bad. 2 is just, you know, the Overwatch, Overwatch 1, 1. It's just kind of like a... yeah. A, the Overwatch one loop. streaming pool was doing worse than games I've never heard of the other yeah. day. And so yeah. that's bad. Yeah. But that's you, terrible. And the people who aren't gonna play it, who are just gonna buy it because you know they they heard Overwatch, they're well, probably the, gonna buy it and play it for a little bit. There was bit. an Overwatch League be Pro game after a month. You yeah. Know? There were Overwatch League pros that were literally protesting the fact that they weren't on the right build. Because <laughs> yeah, they weren't and, on the and, they and, weren't on the right build of Overwatch 2. They weren't even on the most recent updated build of Overwatch 2. They were on an old build of Overwatch 2 for the Overwatch League, and two Overwatch DPS pros, there was a team fight, and it was just the two of them left, and so they just protested by Torb 1v1ing with Torb hammers. That's yeah. incredible. And everyone just watched them as they tor- hit down. each other that's with like Torb a, hammers. That's like a Hunger Games situation. <laughs> <It's your armor. laughs> they just Torb 1v1ed over and over again for the that rest of the That seems more entertaining than... <laughs> well, see, the, th- the f- funny thing is they've also dropped the ball with their competitive scene, which drew a lot of attention because Overwatch they didn't League even demo was this competitive the scene. best competitive... Game for a while. ...game yeah. platform ever. I mean, it set the scene for all other competitive gaming. Like, I mean, that's... Overwatch was the first thing to be put on ESPN, it, or at least I think it was. It was one of the major ones to be, for, to be launched on ESPN. A lot of, you know, it became mainstream with Overwatch and they've even killed that product too. So they want to continue the hype by showing uh, competitive, like professional gameplay while there's this interim period between the beta and the release, yet nobody wants to watch it because they've, they haven't treated their players well and they've already cut, killed like their marketing and their campaigning and everything for their, their competitive field, which is, which is kind of the core and the crux you know, if there's a highly competitive, you know, that's why people, that's why kids want to go out in their backyard and shoot hoops, right? Yep. It's because they see their favorite basketball player mm-hmm. performing at a high level. A- a- in every sense of the aspect, when you see uh, your favorite player, your favorite game being performed at the highest level, that's what makes you. That what yeah, drives that's why, you. That's, that's why the peaked, competitive. That's, that's why, why you wanted like Fortnite competitive. Is people yeah. saw yeah. people saw the people at the top and they're like oh i could do that and, and then they get in the game like ah, oh, well maybe not but and it's that's still f- fun at least that's exactly. why uh, that overwatch yeah. is a competitive game so you need that kind of like like that platform like most games are kind of more catch like call of duty arcade shooters you don't really need a competitive scene to do be successful right. overwatch is advertised and at least built upon behind a competitive you know a competitive platform so you yeah. need those things for people to kind of you know it, it just helps build i mean just think about it in a logical you know aspect like i've been talking about with sports it kind of makes sense i don't know do you guys agree with that or not like yes i, I feel I like agree. that's and, and yeah, they kind of dropped the ball so. on that too it and just felt like they it felt like the gameplay in the beta itself as a person who plays a good amount of overwatch played great and it was awesome and it was fun to play Oh, and I then it felt agree. like they dropped the ball on every other aspect yes right the, and it's just like what is what are we doing here? What they've done is healthy for the game, but the way they've done it is going to end up they, killing they their game. The bag. They fumbled the bag. They're fumbled. They're I, I, in I, the process of fumbling. I just the bag. <laughs> they're it, it, actively fumbling. You don't want to fumble bag. the bag, bro. You don't want to. But I've done it before. They're it doesn't killing work it. Out. <laughs> it. Doesn't work out. I fumbled the bag more than once. I joined the military. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you for your thank service. You for your thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At least you get the discounts, right? Now, like, yeah, go to like Golden Corral. Now we gotta take get a military you to Lowe's discount. when we go, dude. That's so true. Oh, let's maybe, go. Maybe, maybe I, I got twenty I cents off my two dollars. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> have you got any like? Do you get like? How do you? Do you just say you're a veteran? Or, like, you have, like I, I, I still or? got my CAC on me. 
I could just whip out the CAC and. No, I wonder if I could do that. You know, as a civilian. My grandpa has a card, right? No, That's like what the he has. VA card or something I like don't that. Know yeah. What it is? Yeah, I don't know. Man. <laughs> I should have paid attention in my out processing brief, but I didn't. I was no. just like, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, <I wanna> <laughs> like, oh yeah, wah, 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 wah. VA loan. Ba 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 ba. All right, skip, 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 skip. Please let me go. Guest family on the. So did I? Am I able to go home? Yeah. So finance, how do I clear it? Like, sir, you need the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> and I said, I All right, got I'll you. call Nick Gage. Three days later. Speaking of, we watched that movie last night. True. Oh, did you? Oh, it's very yeah. good. What do you think about Nick Cage? I, I'm not a fan. I you don't like Nicholas Cage? Yeah. No, I, I like him Nick in Cage, Ghost Rider. I like Nick Cage in National Treasure. I, I like him. It. I kind of like okay. him I'm, as an actor. I don't think he's got a great outside life. I mean, I could care less. I just I'm talking about the big screen. Seems like uh No, I liked him in Ghost Seems Rider, like he's very hit or miss. Like I a just lot don't of like I don't like the way he talks. Yeah, that's fair. He's it's weird. It's a weird it, it's a weird thing, but it's not like a Christopher Walken weird thing. Yeah. Because I love Christopher Walken. <laughs> Great. Now no, we're I feel about like movies. a lot of weird people voices. we got, you know, like Sean Connery, I feel um, like Danny people, DeVito. Uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like go, when people talk Danny. Nate Cage, they either like really like him or they just don't care for him at all. Yeah. It goes like one way or the other, and it's never like in the middle. I I'm despise him. <laughs> another another one that uh, might surprise you. I don't like uh, Tom Cruise at all. I can see that. I that I absolutely I don't like Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise just because who he I is like as a Mission human Impossible. being. I'm calling him out. I'm calling him out right now. Tom Cruise, if you hear this, we're going at it, <laughs> and not in a good way either. Dude, a Friday night fight night <laughs> or Friday fight night? That's a race track. Tom Cruise, it's true, it's true, it's true. Tom Blush. Cruise pulls up and oh, like 15 the minutes, track. I'm whooping him. <laughs> Do it on the racetrack in between one of the races. Yeah, Dude, we can host a, like a debate se- like segment. Tyler versus Tom Cruise. Dude, Tyler Tom versus- Cruise. The debate is with this. He's getting walloped. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> the debate is with this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So, well, what is it about Tom Cruise? You didn't really specify. Okay, he's got a tooth. Right, his. his <laughs> I also tooth, have a tooth. <laughs> right in the middle of his face, like it's perfectly in the center, and it. That is I can't. Up. I can never not see it again. Yeah. Well, man, also, I'm never gonna not see it again. And also, I would punch that guy just, for that. Yeah, I don't know, man. He, like, he just looks like the that. guy that that would bully people in school. You I think know he. I mean, I, mean, I think he's kind of a jerk. Kind of kind of like yeah. it. He just looks like the the preppy boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah I, I get that feeling. Like he looks like the rich kid that I just want to. Don't they film up? movies yeah. to make him look taller? Because he's short. Yeah, he's like five, two or something. <laughs> I don't know if that's that short, but you know, maybe I guess I can't. Solid five one. Can't argue. But you know what? You know who's a a mountain of a man, even though he's like five foot nothing. Danny DeVito. (laughs) I would go to the ends of the earth to see Danny DeVito in person and give him a hug. (laughs) I would squat down to his level (laughs) and have a heart to heart with him for real. I would squat Danny DeVito. (laughs) I would. I would would clean and jerk (laughs) Danny DeVito. Goodness. Clean his what? There's a decent It's a weightlifting. It is. I could have said clean and press, but I wanted it to be raunchy. (laughs) Decent amount of this podcast that needs edited. (laughs) My apologies, Jeff. (laughs) Just uh, just replace it with me saying that I love (laughs) K-pop. Just use use Lily's voice. Just use Lily's voice and just... yeah. Interpo- uh, it over the the best, still dances. the best thing about that is that where I put it, her mouth is completely covered by the mic. So it looks like she just <laughs> answered that. I'm going to be honest. And we just moved on. You bamboozled me. Because I thought she said it, like legitimately. <laughs> I was like, dude, that's crazy. Why would she say that? That's a weird. <laughs> like, why is she saying that right now? Yeah, we were like, what's a noun? And she was like, so I like K-pop, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then last, yeah. then, like, then last week. And then I went over there and you guys were talking about it. I was like, that wasn't real. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, dude, what? I want to know how many people we fooled. So leave that in the comments below if you were fooled yeah. by that segment. Go back and watch that All right, podcast. let me comment on it real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Get your phone out. Get your phone out. <laughs> <laughs> just I? trying to put your cap on the mic. <laughs> bamboozled again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the but podcast right, for remaining, strength. Well, gotcha. we, have about, we have about eight minutes, right? Yep. So mm, with the remaining few minutes, let's go ahead and uh, pay our respects to the group. Great Bill the Russell. Great Bill Russell. Jeff, what, why are you laughing? I, <laughs> I'm not laughing. You were laughing. I'm laughing about a Can joke we get earlier a, I, that will not <laughs> premiere in this podcast. Can we get a moment of silence real fast? Yeah. Take your hat off. Okay. <laughs>
Moment over. <laughs> moment over. Moment has ended. All right. Now on to Bill Russell. <laughs> <laughs> now we get a moment of silence. <laughs> now, 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 now uh, can we get a moment of silence for Bill Russell? <laughs> but <laughs> nice. In all seriousness, <laughs> so it's a whole lot of championships. That's a whole yeah. So it's ridiculous. It's more been, than I have. <laughs> there's a lot of debates between who the greatest basketball player, and it's usually between LeBron James. I saw one Michael today Jordan, that right? said. He may not be the greatest, ba- like, you know, they argue about greatest basketball player of all time or whatever, but he is probably the single most important, important person to the NBA oh, well, yeah. in the that, history of the league. And not only that, the, he's probably one of, he is probably the most winningest individual in the modern era, of, well, modern era of sports, but in like the, yeah, in, in the four major sports in, in America being what, baseball? I mean, he's, more, he has basketball, basketball. He baseball. won. He won a championship Hockey. his rookie year. He won a championship his last year before he retired. Dang, and he yeah. won eight in a row in bet- eight in a row in the middle. How yeah. many years did he play? A thirteen. Lot. Yeah, yeah, thirteen. He thirteen. And he, he won, won eleven chip. championships. Eleven championships <laughs> in thirteen years. In 13. What's, then, what's that percentage exactly? He, it's he like it's won eighty eight or something. Eighty eight or something. And, or something. and, and I don't he know. won more as a coach. Yeah. Then he, he won, came back to he was also, also the, with the Celtics. I didn't know much about Bill Russell. He was the first African American. Coach in the coach NBA. In the NBA as well. And the last, uh, hey, last three peak. years of his career, he was the coach and the player. Yeah. He coached the team yeah. as a player. Like That he, sounds like semi-pro. Jackie Moon. <laughs> yeah, like he won two championships in three years as a coach player. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. In the last three years of his what career. What a G. For so real. It's ridiculous. And so... <laughs> He's a <laughs> god, dude. Sure so my favorite act- one was like... 80 year old Bill Russell on stage trash talking Magic and Bird and Michael Jordan and Shaq and all of them. That's amazing. When he told him he'd beat them all. He just, yeah. he just looked at them all as he accepted his award, his Lifetime Achievement Award and said I'd beat all y'all. And then he just walked <laughs> off the stage and gave him the double bird. And I get, did see that. <laughs> did he, did he yeah. actually get the double yeah. bird? I didn't know yeah, that. he did. He should have just flashed all his of fingers. His fingers are like really arthritic <laughs> too. His yeah, fingers yeah. are like really arthritic too at that point in his age, and he's just flashing on the know, double so bird. And I'm like, this guy's off. Awesome. So he passed away at the age like, of 88. Yeah. For a man of that size, that is extremely uncommon. Yeah. yeah. Like, depending on your height, guy. you lose about five to four years in terms of life for as a male for right. a life. Right. So the fact that he made it the this male long, lifespan is already is not already that long. Short, but for a man it's like of like 70 his or height, something, like 74 now, 73. And he's doing pretty good for himself. <laughs> So, but so yeah, he told he me I can retire and then only have like eight years left. <laughs> With any luck, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I don't die by, Maybe. by the time I'm 40. It depends then. on if I'm the Pepsi that I drank earlier. Life takes me out first. <laughs> I'm checking out at like 41. <laughs> like, I'm out of here. <laughs> but, I mean, he's got to be the greatest winner in American sports. Oh, yeah. yeah. Easy. I mean, there's nobody who has won at the level that he has. I mean, the only there one who aren't comes really any that come close. close. Tom Brady is the only one that only, comes close. And that would be also if he comes back as a coach and wins more. True. If he comes back as a coach and wins more, he would literally be the only Not one that only has that, a challenger. The adversary he had to go through as an African American male oh, yeah. during oh, the yeah. 60s. In Boston. In Boston. True. <laughs> they told dude, a story dude, where that's so a different get, perspective. He would get in the garden, right? And then he would go back home and people would vandalize his house. He, there was a time where somebody took a dump on his bed. I oh, did you not. If you poop in my house without <laughs> permission, we fight and you're going to die. There was one that but like, I saw the, a tweet the that like put through. in perspective, like not even put it in perspective, but it just talked about like how he, uh, you know, casually, and he never really said, a, I mean, he talked about it. He was an activist. Like he talked about it a lot, but he never complained. Right. And like he would go and casually drop 20 and 50. And then he'd, because he had, he was one of the most prolific, like literally 50, (laughs) one of the most prolific rebounders of all time. Yeah. He could, you know, he blockers. And And made shot blockers. He maybe got to 20, but he had 40 rebounds on the (laughs) way. Yeah. (laughs) And then he had, and he was, you know, he's one of the best shot blockers ever, but they didn't even record that stat because that's how early he played. Incredible. And then he does all that. While you know, putting up those incredible stats, wins a championship casually and just goes home and is you know, facing all that, all that hatred and criticism along the way and never said a word. 
being like never complain. That's like crazy. He, he outspoke. He was yeah. outspoken and upstanding for it. But yeah, people's yeah. So, career high of fifty one in a game and average twenty two and a half. For that's his career. absolutely absurd. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. So that's that. I mean, that is two K numbers. Didn't Wilt get fifty five in a game? Yeah, and that's well, still the Wilt record. Was also, yeah. I, Will was Prison. a legend, but Will also had like twenty five assists one time just to show that he didn't have to score. Yeah. <laughs> it was there was no, no reason, reason for it. These are some larger than <laughs> life personalities and larger than life people. And, and yeah. people have said that Bill Russell is one of the most genuine, charismatic, and just great yeah. human individuals to ever play. Like he's probably one of the better players to essentially encompass like the the mentality that the NBA wants to represent, right? Yeah. If that makes sense, or the respective organization, whether it be NFL. NBA. Did you highlight his? That's his career high points. Yeah, his career high points is only thirty seven. He didn't need to score, man. <laughs> when hey, he was dude. holding opposing teams to thirty seven points, all he has to do as is score thirty seven. Yeah, as the whole... and have somebody else, some other Joe Schmo, score one more. Let's just see if somebody's watched enough games to tally. Tally's box. I don't bet they have. They probably don't have enough. They probably weren't enough of them. Somewhere between recorded. six and eight blocks per game. Yeah. No, crazy. That's pretty is wild. what they're eyeballing it. Pretty yeah. wild. But yeah, for, for Bill Russell <laughs> six and eight. to win that many championships, to go through what he <laughs> I mean, had to go through yeah. as what an African-American it? man, a black man and, and that, during that time period, and then to come back as the first, a pioneer in for, the coaching world. In the coaching yeah. world. And be successful. For the same organization, too. He never left it. Yeah. Right. Is uh, legendary status. One of the greatest athletes and individuals of all time. So It's yeah. wonderful to have lived in the same lifetime as a legend like this. Yeah. So, so rest in peace. And uh, rip. Yeah. He'll be immortalized in basketball history. Maybe forever. his Maybe his death will revitalize big men all across the country. And I hope so. Bring be in cool. some great and, big men. Because I know Kobe. Whenever he passed, I'm sure there was an influx of guards everywhere. <laughs> Trying to be like with the Mamba mentality. Mamba mentality, that's right. Now we're going to focus on shot blocking and rebounds, Yerd. Amen. So, <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> so, we didn't get to uh, uh, the Deer Series update. We can talk a little bit about that next week. There hasn't too much changed. Tyler and I have went through. I've been doing some animating. We've been uh, I've time been stamping. Watching their stuff I think I could do it. Do. I think I could do it real fast, Nate. <laughs> All right, you got... 30 seconds. Nate was doing the animation and he had me read the first part of the introductory uh, paragraph with the music on. I got tingles, man. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, it sounds really cool. It was absolutely stunning. And so, I think you guys are going to love it. So. so so thank you, Tyler, for being here today. Thank and, you for having me. Uh, I want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Jeff, ring the bell. And then Jeff. Ding. ring the As well as ring the bell. So if you enjoyed what you... Ding. What you watched and or listened to today, make sure to show us support. Jeff, put the Taco Bell uh, sound effect on whenever you press yeah. it. Dung. But, Dung. but with <laughs> that, again, thank you for the support. Thank Dung. you for watching. Tyler, it is with the outro. Bye. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful.